Today, we're painting a Corvette. Our old Harbor Freight paint gun was not up to the task, so we ordered this DeVilbis starting line kit. Let's see what this baby can do. The DeVilbis starting line kit includes a 1.3 and 1.5 millimeter tip for finished coatings. Both guns have a 600cc aluminum cup. The primer gun includes a 1.8 millimeter tip. It also comes with cleaning brushes, a maintenance wrench, and an air regulator. Oh, and don't forget the cool carrying case. Well, I gotta tell you, it's not the most expensive DeVilbis gun they have, but uh, adjusted in about 10 seconds. My other Harbor Freight gun, constantly screwing with the adjustment on it. This one adjusted quickly and just laying it down nice and fast and real smooth. So I'll probably just throw the Harbor Freight gun in the garbage can. Here's the paint we'll be using. This stuff is jet black with a ton of metal flake. We will follow it up with some purple pearl. Let's get this show on the road. So here we're laying down our first tack coat. Compared to the Harbor Freight paint gun, this is a huge upgrade. We prefer to run the gun at 25 to 30 PSI. This bad boy lays paint down like glass. As we go into our second coat, this gun continues to impress the crew with its price and quality. We begin to contemplate our poor decisions and why we ever started using the Harbor Freight gun to begin with. It becomes all too clear we were just trying to save money. Speaking of clear, let's lay down the top coat with some purple pearl. Mmm-hmm, hotter than grandma's apple pie. But we are now trying to right our wrongs and increase our acuity in the automotive industry. You get what you pay for. You can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. This is the gun to start with, no question. If you are looking for a good starter kit, look no further. Man, she looks nice. That paint job is bad to the bone. So, what paint guns do you guys prefer? We know these are good starter guns and there are much higher quality ones on the market. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. All in all, this is a pretty good bang for your buck. A huge improvement compared to the Harbor Freight gun. Uh, this would be like your entry level professional gun, which we will upgrade from here, but this is a pretty bad to the bone gun for the price.